This week on the Fourth Generation Podcast, I'm joined here once again with uh, Priscilla and Andrew. We're not no. using real names. No. Those, no, those no. are actually real names. Straight aliases. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this week, we actually, guys, we're going to be covering the story of John Lang, uh, who was a local boy from here in our very own neck of the woods, Fresno, California. Fresno. Beautiful California. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder if anybody's ever, anybody else heard of this story. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that You've a seen? lot of people like around the... Because I've seen a, well, like, I've watched a documentary on YouTube and stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And I've seen, like, a whole bunch of posts from, like, people from all over the place, mm-hmm. you know, commenting, commenting on, on, stuff, it on the stuff. story. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy. So it gets, crazy. it gets pretty crazy. It gets kind of nuts. Um, but I guess you can say that kind of about the guy, too. He, he is kind of a weird-ass dude. Yeah. yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. He said the story gets kind of nuts. He only does. <laughs> 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 Obviously, if we're covering it, end. things didn't end well for <laughs> this guy. Yeah. It got kind of crazy. It got kind of yeah. wild. So John Lang, uh, he was in his 40s at this time. This happened back in uh, 2016. It were between 2015 and 2016. So John Lang, kind of like a freelance reporter. He had his own little website that he kind of had on his own. Uh, he worked here in Fresno at a tire shop. Okay, that was, that, that was just about the only employment that I can find from him. So on January 20th of 2016, he was found murdered in his house. St- with multiple stab wounds in his back, according to the Fresno, uh, the Fresno B and ABC 30, who all reported it that he had multiple stab wounds in his back. Okay, you guys remember that's going to be important. Mm-hmm. Uh, his house was also caught on fire, which um, the initial reports indicate that the fire had started inside, and it would it was uh, started by gasoline. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. That was the official story. Later on, the coroners reported it as a suicide. The suspicious death of a central Fresno man has now been deemed a suicide. 51-year-old John Lang was found barricaded inside his burning home with stab wounds back in January. He later died at a hospital. Investigators called his death suspicious because it appeared someone intentionally set the fire at the Van Ness home. The coroner later determined the wounds were self-inflicted. Prior to his death, Lang gained social media attention by posting that he feared Fresno police were trying to kill him. So supposedly, yeah, this was the suicide. Yeah. And then back, the reporters went back and actually changed. The, the Fresno Bee went back and changed and said that he had multiple stab wounds in his chest mm. and lacerations in his heart. Mm-hmm. So whatever, he, he was able to stab himself hard enough to puncture his heart. Okay. Uh, they reported that the reports from the Fresno PD from the initial night Mm -hmm. said that it was a mistake. So they went ahead and they just backtracked it. And then that's what it led to a lot of this speculation that's going around this case. It's a little weird. So in the months leading up to John Lang's alleged suicide, uh, John Lang had uh, become a nuisance for the Fresno PD. Mm-hmm. So uh, John Lang, he had uncovered a scam that the Fresno PD was going around to a lot of these low income shopping centers. So like these low income areas, you know, going to the shopping centers and they were scanning license plates, seeing if anything would pop up, you know, any infractions or expired license plates and stuff mm-hmm. like that. What they're not allowed to do, which <laughs> is it's no. immoral. And I guess in some senses kind of illegal yeah. because what they would do is they would scan these license plates and if anything were to pop up, they would pretty much go down the street and hide and watch when that car finally drives out of the parking lot and they would pull them over as if it was a regular traffic stop, mm. uh, which which what John Lane claims was specifically to generate profit for the Fresno PD. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess he, he had a bunch of information that he was able to pull out because uh, supposedly he fell victim to this scam. So he was one of the victims of the scam. That's how he came across it. And so he started sending a bunch of information, uh, put a, posting a bunch of information on his website. He started sending it to the Fresno Bee, uh, all the local news stations like ABC 30, Fox 26. But a lot of them kind of just tell him, oh, you're crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah. But um, there were, though multiple websites that did believe his story and thought that there was enough proof to publish his findings. 
So he did. So it was actually making some noise, you know. And so he was also starting to unravel some of the um, the current uh, the current mayor of Fresno, who at the time was the police chief Jeffrey Dyer. He started to unravel a little scam that involved him and a fourteen year old girl. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. So this this goes off into another another thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, not a whole lot of information there. Uh, but there are court documents that do back this up, mm. which I was able to find online, which it does mm. seem kind of sketch, given that he did run for mayor unopposed a couple mm. years ago. So I probably thinking nobody went ahead and actually just went and pulled that out. Yeah. yeah. You know, but there it's again, it's all speculation. Mm. Fresno PD, no come after me <laughs> just yet. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> so in the months leading up to that, John or leading up to his suicide, John Lang was making various posts on his Facebook saying uh, that the Fresno Police Department is trying to intimidate me. There is vo- uh, a couple of posts where he would go on to say, um, uh, if I end up, if I turn up dead tomorrow, blame it on the Fresno PD and my next door neighbor who are all trying to get after me. Yeah. Okay. So he was completely paranoid. So, and then there's various Facebook posts. He goes on and on about the same stuff. He had installed security cameras uh, in the front of his house. And he actually started posting a few videos from from the front of his house. And where just this is where things start to get a little bit interesting was he started posting videos of cops showing up to his house at random times. No, they doesn't really seem like they're doing anything, but they are pulling up in front of his house and like kind of like peeking back at his house. Uh, there was one instance where he does have a video of about uh, 12 to 13 officers just posted in front of his house in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. And they were there. Uh, they were out there for a little while, too. It doesn't seem like they're doing anything. Mm-hmm. They kind of just parked their cars across the street. They're standing outside in front of his house. Just it, they're kind of just mingling, talking yeah. to each other, but the intimidation it, factor. It, it looks yeah. like an intimidation yeah. move. It was pretty much what they were trying to get at. Um, there was another one where a van pulls up in front of his house, and then the van opens up, and inside there's a guy with what looks like to be a thermal imaging camera mm-hmm. pointing inside of his house. Which this this was the one that I thought was the most you know out there like it was really weird like nobody pulls up to a random house and then just starts filming yeah right thermal imaging (laughs) thermal (laughs) imaging camera military grade stuff it looked like like high-end equipment like this you didn't buy this at target Mm -hmm. right so or best buy or something (laughs) exactly (laughs) (laughs) so and then there was another one which was one of the last ones which there was a, a cleaning company or a carpet cleaning company that pulled up to the house next door, right? And so, but you still see the guy who was ever in the van, whoever is in charge of you know the carpet cleaning, mm-hmm. kept peeking over at his house. John Lang did kind of seem a little paranoid. He was saying, I saw this guy uh, try to enter my house multiple times. If I end up dead, it's probably because of this guy, yeah. which, I mean, it does look like a, just like a normal guy. The only suspicious mm-hmm. thing that he does kind of just peek over at the other house, or at his house every once mm-hmm. in a while. Um, some people online who this, I mean, this kind of, uh, especially on Reddit, this kind of uh, got a little bit of a, a steam going when it comes to conspiracy theories, did end up calling the carpet cleaning company. And it was a legit company for a little while. Um, and they had one website that was actually, uh, it was created and published just days after John Lang's death. Mm. Yo, so which m- might seem a little suspicious, but it could just be a coincidence. It could just be just a regular just a carpet starting cleaning. up yeah. carpet yeah. company, you know, and it just like things that. just didn't work out. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. So, are they so, still in business? Uh, as of now, no, oh, no. Well, the now. website, the website does it. The <laughs> website's down now. Yeah. Mm. Um, they have a few a few reviews online, but nothing, nothing, nothing like big. Yeah. Crazy. yeah. So as of as of now, from what I was able to look up, they're no longer in service. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, but it's been uh, six it's years been, now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, and who fuck has carpet? <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, who has carpet? Who <laughs> who's wearing their shoes this? inside of the carpet? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. Come on, man. Um, so 
so days le- so again days leading up to a suicide he's still making all these erratic posts of you know people trying to intimidate him uh he claims that the police department is trying to break into his house uh to plant child pornography onto his computer mm-hmm. so these these are claims that he's making supposedly mm-hmm. that he's finding people breaking in um there he did set up a cctv video camera inside of the house but that footage was never released it was never made available to the public, mm. which does get a little fishy. Mm. So the alleged night of the suicide, right? Again, the uh, initial reports had reported that he was found with multiple stab wounds in his back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, this was reported by the, Fres- uh, by the Fresno B, mm. uh, at which they later came out and recanted that and said, oh, that was a mistake. We f- we reported it by mistake. He was found with multiple stab wounds in his heart and his yeah. abdomen and in his it's chest. Just, mm. But this is where things start to get weird. After the coroner report, which was performed with an officer present, which is a little weird, right? Mm-hmm. Not a lot of officers are present for, for the cor- for the yeah, autopsy, for the right? Yeah. Yeah. So it had revealed that he was um, stabbed in the heart with a bread knife. No, it looks like a butter knife. With yeah. not a butter knife, but a bread knife. You know the bread oh, knives, yeah, the, the ones the, that they the, have the, the ridges, ridges, the ridges at the at the end. That's what supposedly was the the uh, cause the of laceration mm-hmm. to his heart. Mm, okay. So it had to be strong enough to actually puncture through his sternum all the way back into, into his, his heart. heart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Multiple times. which which well, this was the main one. This is supposedly one that would cause a lot of the bleeding. Mm. However. It had been determined that the actual cause of death was uh, suffocation and from inhaling all the soot from the house the that fire. was burning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So that, that was what the official cause of death was, which is why there was also a fire department present for his autopsy. Mm-hmm. So uh, reports came out that say that when they found his body, he was naked. But they only found soot on his face, hands, and feet. They didn't find anything on his actual um, Body. abdomen or his legs. Mm. Mm-hmm. They also said that they found his clothes folded neatly underneath him, which had no puncture wounds in the shirt. Exactly. Yeah. So that's where things start to get a little iffy. After the fire department, they concluded their investigation. They had concluded that John Lang did, in fact, set the house ablaze. They said that it, they found the or the the place of origin, and they found that the, he had the significant amount of equipment to start to start the fire. So I guess they're, what their initial what they're reporting after all this is that he started the fire and then stabbed himself. No, oh, okay. but then the fire was what caused his, his death. death. His death. Mm-hmm. But there, but you know, so this is also a report by the fire department, which a lot of people speculate. Well, they don't have any, they don't have any uh, incentive to mm-hmm. fake all this or fake yeah. all this information, mm-hmm. right? So that's what they reported. Um, so he died of suffocation. Again, this was ultimately at the end ruled a suicide. So they went ahead. Okay, case closed. Throw it away. That's all. That's over. Right. Mm-hmm. So, again, a lot of people are speculating that since the police department did have uh, an objective in order to pretty much get rid of this guy, mm-hmm. a lot of people speculate that he might have just been super crazy. paranoid and mm-hmm. super crazy. And super crazy. What yeah. do you guys think? Hmm. A lot of red flags. Yes. Yeah. There's, There's a, a lot, lot of, of red flags. There's a lot of like. That is a sound right. Yeah. yeah, like wide Things fold that your just clothes, don't add up. <coughs> set your house ablaze, and yeah, talk right into the mic. Kill yourself, you know, mm-hmm. naked. Yeah, you know, like I don't know. And then all that Whoa. that footage that yeah. he has. So and so, and then there was also there was more footage inside the house that the Fresno Police Department claims that the night of the suicide. Yeah, he was acting erratic. He was going crazy, and that he came out of one of the bedrooms. Because I guess the the camera was in the living room, and that he was flashing a knife at the camera, oh, okay. and that he went back into the bedroom and never to be seen again. Yeah. However, this is what the Fresno PD is reporting, and mm-hmm. again, they've never they released remitter, they've public. never released the inside the of the the footage of the inside of the house. So it's like take their word or mm-hmm. nothing. Really. And so and so the 
the video that is public to you know you know that the cctv video that mm-hmm. was in front of this house this was all made public by john lang before he died mm-hmm. remember that he posted all these on his youtube videos mm-hmm. or uh, his youtube channel and a lot on his facebook yeah mm-hmm. with with posts and everything yeah. so that's that's what we have mm-hmm. and that's what makes this case so so weird or so yeah. crazy yeah. was that he was actually able to publish all his stuff first and okay. then yeah. he was found dead yeah. with due to an alleged suicide. Mm-hmm. Alleged suicide. Alleged. And then I think he was like in the military before now. He, he was, was actually, like a, he was a former U.S. Marine. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. See? So. so he was a former U.S. Marine. Um, he does, he was married at one point and he had a son. Hmm, but okay. they, because um, he's originally from uh, Iowa. Or oh, okay. no, Ohio. Ohio. Was, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, if I'm mistaken. Yeah. Middle, uh, yeah. Midwest. Midwest. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's where he's originally from. Um, there's really no information on why he moved to Fresno, mm-hmm. yo, uh, other than maybe just to come and work here. Maybe that's what. And then there's a lot. Also, too, there's a lot of speculation that of, that he didn't even work where he claims to have worked. The some people shop? say some people say that he only worked there part time oh, okay. uh, because he was also kind of throwing shade on some of the Facebook posts to some of his, his coworkers, coworkers saying that they were also in on it. That's where, like, maybe that's where... Do you guys think maybe he was, like, super paranoid? I mean, he could have been Mm -hmm. super paranoid, but then there's also a lot of stuff that, like, why have a police officer present during your autopsy, you know? Yeah. It's not very common. It's not common at all. And then all those incidences with the cops, you know roaming around his house and looking into his house and like that all looks, that, that looks stuff. very suspicious because there's yeah. cctv uh video like there's actual yeah. Yeah. footage mm-hmm. of what he saw you yeah. know which is weird but yeah it being rolled a suicide i don't believe it you don't believe it at, <laughs> Not all? at all no yeah because How, well to begin with they made the mistake by saying he was stabbed in the back yeah and then and, and then it the, it was being stabbed in the heart. Yeah. yeah, and then Fresno B actually did release an article saying that the initial reports was a mistake. Mm-hmm. That's that's what they're claiming. They're claiming that they got that they got misleading information from uh, the, police the police officers, officers. that were present and the detectives that were present. Hmm. Exactly. That's tough because Weird. a lot of news places like that will never admit to making a mistake. Yeah. Exactly. You know, unless there's like serious repercussions that like come from Fresno it. PD. Like Fresno, <laughs> like from Fresno PD. PD. Yeah. Um, but I think there is some stuff they're hiding from us in the autopsy because mm-hmm. uh, usually what you'd see with people that are getting attacked by a knife is that they'll try to shield themselves mm-hmm. using either their hands or their arms. Yeah. yeah. They said that there was no other lacerations uh, other, than, uh, other than the stab wounds. Other than the stab wounds. So yeah, I think so that maybe that's why there was a police officer present mm-hmm. um, during that Opto- initial autopsy mm-hmm. because if if he was attacked by somebody he would probably had fended for he himself did, i mean yeah. he was yeah. only a former marine so i was yeah. so, you know um unless so, yeah. he was stabbed in the back while he wasn't looking yeah. unless he was stabbed in the back while he wasn't looking so and yeah. he but does and he does he does claim that people um not necessarily that it was the police department but he i mean he kind of just puts pieces together mm-hmm. he says that multiple people had tried breaking into his house prior to this Oh, okay. But this all happened after he had discovered that alleged scam okay. involving the police department. Yeah. So it could have been just a plain clothes police officer, maybe trying to break. Into yeah, his house? it could have just been. So yeah, somebody who just in their street clothes, just yeah. walking yeah. in, you know, or, or trying to break into his house. Mm-hmm. He said that he caught he had caught uh, multiple people trying to break into his house. It wasn't just one person. Mm. That he had caught multiple people multiple times. Um, but then the whole claims too of trying to. Um, where he kind of just goes out of left field and says that the police department is trying to implant child pornography onto his computer. Yeah, there's some stuff that you can see why. Mm-hmm. And then, well, you said that he didn't, uh, that a lot of the people said that he didn't really work where he said that he worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they say that he, well, he, that either he didn't work there or he at least worked part time. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, not a lot of people actually remember him. Mm-hmm. The thing is, is that he was, he actually seemed to be kind of a loner. Mm. you know and um there was one post i remember he he put up he's like uh can anybody spend the night with me tonight because i feel like the pres the fresno pd is going to come get me tonight whatever they're trying to do you have to uh own a gun legally mm-hmm. yeah that was one of his posts before one of his, be- last, one of his last posts before he died 
And he yeah. didn't own a gun? He wasn't a gun owner? He wasn't a gun owner. Hmm. Yeah. You know, but... You know, and, the, and then the thing with the thermal imaging camera. Yeah. That seems a little sus, right? It that does. Very sus. It does, yeah. You know, but uh, also a lot of people say that Fresno apparently is a popular place to film. Which I <laughs> which, yeah. I never so. heard anything about that. I, I, I yeah. seen the footage of the of the thermal imaging camera pulling yeah. up, and it's just a van, and then they open it up real quick, and there's mm-hmm. some dude that's holding it, yeah, and then they close yeah, it up, and, and then take off, take off. Uh, you know, like what are you filming then? Yeah, yeah. what's your explanation? Oh well, we just wanted to get some thermal it's imaging <laughs> of the house in Fresno. <laughs> it's for a student project. Yeah, it's a student yeah, project. Right. No, but uh, yeah, I, I don't it's for buy my that. Community college class. <laughs> I think yeah, maybe um, maybe they were after him, and then. Uh, he was just so paranoid that he kind of made himself seem like he was some s- paranoid dude Crazy living by guy. himself. Yeah. But, you know, maybe that's what they, at least mm-hmm. the people Want going after him, people. wanted him yeah. to seem like. Do you think you he know? was just, he he kind of saw something, maybe not to the extent of what he found, but, but I mean, maybe at, more. At, at mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe you even know? more. Because you did say that he was, uh, what was that dude's name? Jeffrey Dyer. Jeffrey Dyer, yeah. and then he uncovered some stuff going on with him. So I guess know, I guess some of that stuff, because I did find a little bit on it, not a whole lot, but some of it is kind of public knowledge because I guess mm-hmm. this happened years ago. Well, yeah. well he's he, the mayor now, isn't he? He's the mayor now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe yeah. we should turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've gone too far. We're just getting This is a joke. But I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe he did uncover more than what he was leading on. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe just, I don't know why he wouldn't go to like a, a, a major news outlet well know, he went like, to well he went to fresno b i uh-huh. guess that's where he initially went to uh he went to some of the local stations oh, but he okay. never actually they well never there's actually no records of story. actually yeah. took on his stories oh, okay. or he yeah. they never actually um revealed if he actually went out and actually went to other big um news, news, news outlets yeah because yeah. yeah. that's a big deal you know that's yeah. that's a, especially like if you're um like Fresno B or ABC yeah. 30 or something mm-hmm. like that. And then this crazy, not crazy dude, but maybe mm-hmm. this guy comes up to you with some crazy information. Right. Yeah. And then you plan on taking on this story. <laughs> mm-hmm. It could just, you know, it could affect, the affect your credibility you of your station. Yeah. And, right. You know, and maybe this just isn't the, the attention I mean, yeah. that we're looking for right now. <laughs> the Fresno PD <laughs> yeah, is looking Fresno for. Fresno PD and that, that or the just Fresno police chief is, you know, having some sexual relations or whatever yeah. it was, yeah. you know, like with, and they just so try to sweep it under the rug. Maybe, yeah. maybe a couple of people wanted this guy gone. Yeah. You never know who else mm-hmm. he made enemies with. And that so. was just That's enough. True. And maybe, and then just the, the post on Facebook and then the post on YouTube kind of mm-hmm. just made him seem a little crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, because even, even going through the internet, it's kind of hard to find an actual picture of him given like we mm-hmm. live in the age of social media I mean, he was or he was older. He was, I, I think, he was almost in his fifties mm-hmm. at this time. So maybe he was just like, I'm not dealing with all that social media. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he did have a Facebook, and his uh, profile picture was just uh, a picture of uh, Stephen Colbert with uh, an anonymous mask on. You guys remember the anonymous yeah. mask, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe he was already just maybe some kind of just paranoid guy who was just. Uncovered. really into conspiracy yeah, theories into conspiracy and was Maybe just like a tech guru kind of guy and just un- uncovered some yeah. crazy you know yeah stuff maybe he's just and yeah got, maybe just a way over his head <laughs> went in went way over AWOL, his head and he was just, like fuck you know yeah. and it just got out of hand yeah yeah, yeah. could have been that too yeah because mm. you know it's interesting too because i mean there's no there's no suicide note left behind um, there was no indication saying that he was thinking about committing, committing suicide. suicide he like kept that. saying I that still, the police, the police department, are the ones after me. But realistically, how do you stab yourself with a bread knife? Yeah, exactly. Like if you've seen a bread knife. Yeah, <laughs> and that's and that's what they concluded. <laughs> yeah, with because it, it has the ri- the ridges at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, and then it's it said, all on yeah. one side, and then the front of the knife. There is no point to where you can like you know stab exactly. something or, exactly which is weird um, they also indicated too that the stab wounds on his abdomen were caused by a different knife which so was caused by a smaller knife with a different, different knife. knives yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah no. but also too i mean it, it was enough to puncture his heart uh yeah. allegedly but he died due to suffocation, suffocation yeah. yeah and his house burning down She's but i mean it is a weird way, I guess, supposedly to go mm-hmm. to like yeah. if you're going to off yourself, like to do yeah. it this way to, set I guess, first set your house on fire yeah. and, and then, then try to stab yourself. yourself. Yeah. 
naked. naked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a, yeah. Mm-hmm. But That's then pretty, again, they only but then found remember the they only found his, the the soot on his face and his, his hands. Yeah, yeah, true. So he, it's he, like he stabbed he himself, got naked. And he was obviously <laughs> close. Yeah, and then it was yeah. True. Unless he like stabbed himself, put his clothes on, and Dick while he was on. dying, <laughs> yo, the house is burning. <laughs> yeah, he was dying. Like, oh, like, yeah. It's kind of warm in here. Let me take this shit off. It's hot. Let me just tidy it up. Yeah, and then fold it nice and neatly. Yeah, and then pass away peacefully. Yeah, just go. Yeah, so did they say where in the house they found him or no? Uh, they fa- they said they found him in one of the bedrooms. Damn it! Yeah, <laughs> so he was. They found him. Why, on Where were you hoping they found? Him? Like somewhere in, on like the in the living room, or yeah, like, on the stove. Yeah, I don't know. They say they found him in the, in his uh, in his bedroom on his bed with his foes his clothes fun- Fold folded underneath under the bed. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's a weird place. That's allegedly it. where they found him. Yeah. Um, Wait. Real, real head scratcher. This one. Yeah. So if his clothes that he had folded under the bed didn't have any, uh, it had no puncture wounds. Puncture wounds. No. Then where are the clothes cut. that he had with the puncture wounds? Yeah, if he was wearing clothes, maybe that's they what took it off. And that's then what they, they were like. Oh, so they like they reported. stabbed. Well, this is what the re- this is what the report was. But the initial reports remember that he was stabbed in the back. back. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, if it's a real real weird way to kill yourself, and then it's also if somebody else did it. Also, They're weird probably to not, take you the know, clothes. probably not the best <laughs> hitman in the world either. I know. Fresno PD, <laughs> they yeah. don't have the funds <laughs> to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we don't really At have least the funds. They're else. not able to hire Barry from HBO. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so that like, guy knows what he's doing. That guy knew what he was doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, not the best hitman in the world doing no. his job. Yeah, Paul, tried it's stabbing almost, him with like a smaller knife. Yeah, do you think that didn't was work? Like, this isn't this freaking isn't working. <laughs> yeah, do you guys think like they broke in and then like he was like walking around like, and they're like, oh shit, I don't think he was gonna be awake. Yeah, so they maybe. just they maybe. stabbed him in they the back. They just started going then, at it. Yeah. And then just panic, things were falling off the ground. Mm-hmm. You know, just like, oh man, Trying this job is shit. Yeah, let's burn the house down. Supposed to be a suicide. Oh, uh, before you do that, take his clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, what do what I do with it? Yeah. We'll, we'll take it. Fold it. Just, put yeah, it under the bed. Up, put just it get rid of it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. This yeah, is going to burn down. And then putting the house on fire. Yeah. Oh, and then I know. They got, they got the two lowest seniority de- deputies <laughs> to yeah, go in uh-huh. and do this job. <laughs> Okay. But, uh, Jeffrey Dyer is like, what the fuck, man? I give you one job. <laughs> <laughs> Off to 21 Jump Street for you two. Oh, I yeah. know. <laughs> to get Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. And, and uh, Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum, Tatum, Tatum to pull this off. <clears throat> this, <laughs> this one weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This story is. We just, uh, but yeah. But Very so, sus. Lot to uncover there. Mm-hmm. For sure. I mean, we can probably go on. For a little while Long longer, time. but yeah, and try to really unravel this one. But yeah. I mean, what what do you guys think? Do you guys think maybe he was just crazy altogether, super paranoid? He did off himself, or do you think there was uh, bigger bigger things going on? I think there was bigger things and definitely foul play involved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, Priscilla, I mean, I do think he like over time he did get you know a little crazy with especially with the social media stuff. Mm-hmm. But definitely, yeah. They did something happened that something happened, he yeah. could not. Things, there's things, no way things just don't add up. Things don't mm-hmm. add up. Not yeah. to say that certain, you know, it's like agencies how do you, were involved, yeah. but definitely didn't off himself. Yeah, yeah. Nice. that is for sure. Mm-hmm. It's a mm-hmm. weird way, especially with like left with no clothes on and yeah. the so only found House on certain parts of the body. It's just weird. Yeah, I don't know who would. Uh, want to go suicide and just that try little, to burn their house down. Yeah, just that. That just seems like so much work, <laughs> right? So much freaking Stop work. Yeah, you know. Let's uh, do one or the and other. And then especially, especially since he has a lot of uh, video posted mm-hmm. of what he was experienced, quote unquote, experiencing. Yeah, yeah. not that. I mean, see. he yeah. built up mm-hmm. enough information against them too. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because that's not your normal interaction with yeah. the police. Yeah. Never, no, for, at least for Definitely the average person. Not. Yeah, right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, he does have some. He does have some bomb some weird stuff going on here, yeah, right? Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, that's mm-hmm. that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, uh, let us know whatever kind of case you guys want us to cover next week. We'll all see you guys on the next time. Thanks, everybody. See you. Bye. Bye.